I'm Carla Hall with Top Chef, and you're watching People.com. When I cook my food, there's a lot of heart, there's a lot of flavor. Do I think that um, my food is good? Yes. If it's food, if it's art, if it's music, if you're doing it with love, the outcome will resonate with people. In keeping the love and passion when I cook food, then I am giving that gift to somebody else. I give that to you, and you go on to find passion or just loving what you do. How much influence did Casey have and what kind of suggestions did she make? She she made a lot of suggestions. Do we want to think on, on a different vehicle than a tart, like the souffle? People are like, you know, it's Casey's fault that you didn't win and you shouldn't have listened to her. No, you all, no. I was totally in control of that. I accepted that decision and I take full responsibility. I messed up, end of story. No big deal. My dishes aren't quite what I want them to be, so I'm just gonna send you out some love with this stuff that I'm giving you. I think initially they were like, okay, the girl is kooky, let's kick her off. I, I think the judges, especially Tom Colicchio, the criticism was constructive, but sometimes he, you know, he would look at me like, you, you know, you know how he looks. Are you getting it, Tom? Aren't you getting it? But I didn't really care. My husband and I, when we go to a store, we would split up. We needed to find each other. So I would say, Hootie, and he'd go, who? And at home, whoever walks in first says, Hootie, and the other person says, who? He'll boo -doo -doo -doo. So that's the other part of the call. People will send me emails, sending me a heartfelt Hootie. And I'm like, who? <laughs> Cook it with love, y'all. Cook it with love. You fill it in the gut. You gotta cook with love. That's all I gotta say. A recipe, L-O-V-E.